Good morning and welcome back to another vlog here on the channel at Adventure Times today. Yeah. Well, I'm <laughs> New signage. Welcome from the Fort Park Resort. Yes, we are here for the behind the scenes tour. We've all been given the behind the scenes tour. VIP uh, visas. So, we can confirm that Shark Cabins now has a Hyperia room. Very classy, it's a little bit different, little upmarket. Probably worth the money that they're going to charge for it. But yeah, there is a Hyperia room coming to the Sharp, Thorpe Sharp Cabins. Oh, I forgot to say as well, on the toilet door is actually the storyline of Hyperia, which we're not allowed to share and we're not allowed to take any photos. But yes, if you go into that room, there is the storyline for Hyperia. Here we go, into the dome. Plenty of work going on in the dome. They're changing the coffee. Ooh. So there's not many updates in the dome. The coffee shack's just getting a refresh, getting a sparkle, and they're going to have new freestyle machines. That's about it. I know, it looks like it should be a Chesterton or something. <laughs> Right, we're going to see the only sparkle they've done in uh, the swarm is the toilets. And we're going to do a toilet tour in the female toilets. Going where no one has gone before. <laughs> toilet tour, we've got new sinks. Look at that, snazzy. These, these are the women's toilets. Sure, shall, shall we go and check out the men's toilets just to see whether, yeah, we, we shouldn't be in here. There we go. Urinals and the toilet and the sinks, not as uh, big as the uh, female ones. Right, there's our small sparkle update from the swarm area. Just the toilets, unfortunately, and just basically the sinks. There we go. There's a new bridge on tidal wave. They built this year. Pier 13, and there's no glass either. To protect you. You're going to be getting wet. Yeah, as our first look at Tidal Wave, Pier 13 has gone back to its original name. No longer sponsorship, there is no sponsorship on there. And uh, we just heard from Russ as well, who's doing the tour today, that their fire effect, our Tidal Wave, is still going to happen at some point. There's no time scale onto it, but it will apparently happen. There we go. We have another toilet block to check out just by the Mega Store. And check these ones out. So we're in the women's toilets again. Ooh, lots of Easter eggs. Welcome to my toilet tour. There we go, plenty of Easter eggs here in the men's toilets as well. So, the park have just revealed that they've got a new fish and chip store that's here. And uh, the veggie store has been moved to over there, which may not be its final resting point. So, the park is still very much a building site, as you can see. But we are assured that it will get cleaned up before okay. opening. First sign, a big easy boulevard. Okay, folks, so yeah, this is big easy boulevard. Behind Detonator is the, uh, the, the platform, it is a testing ground, it's a test platform for fireworks. So the drop is the lever to launch, and there is a big red and white mark. Okay. So, uh, we'll Yes, I'm showing you stuff on the floor. This is by the bumper cars, new bumper cars. Nice, little Easter eggs. Well, we've seen a little bit of it from Monk's Walk, but there's a closer look at the station for stealth. <laughs> Okay folks, uh, uh, hanging out the wall above the KFC. Uh, oh, we're in an uh, American fleet area. So, yeah, and the gate, the gate of gasoline is the new brand. Uh, King's had a bit of a sparkle. So 
all the bushes have been cut down by the uh, Nemesis Inferno. Here we go, having a look at the new shop or redone shop of Inferno. Here we go, there's some merch. New Nemesis merch. Ready to So the slide in the Inferno shop has now gone. There we go. We've got new flooring, new lighting, new merch. Lovely. So you've got the wilderness bar and kitchen, which is obviously coming back for this season, but it's going to be turned into a curry house uh, and it will be selling bubble tea as well as the bar over the back. Interesting. But we're getting a little bit closer now to Hyperion. Here we go, I can actually see it right now. We're going to be the first public people to view Hyperia from inside the park. Oh my God, it is a sight and a half. Obviously we've been down Monk's Walk, you've seen the updates from us from our Monk's Walk. But we're inside the park and we're gonna be the first people in the public to see it up close. I am excited. So look at this, Burger King has been rethemed to the Hyperia. Everyone's looking at me. It's, uh, it's um, still a very much a building size, you can see, but if I just pan up, there it is. Oh my word, look at that side. It is breathtaking and I haven't even been on it. So these are the new toilet blocks here at the Hyperia section of Thorpe Park. So it's still very much a building site, but yeah. There is still plenty of work here to do. Obviously they still got to complete the catwalk up to the top. Obviously the queue line has to go in, but yeah, you've got the wings. It's incredible. <laughs> Here we go, our first look at the IP we are inside the construction site. You really get a sense of height up here. <laughs> Photo point there, shop there, and still some supports in there. <laughs> There's the one. There we go. There's the tour of the construction site of Hyperia. What an incredible, incredible coaster it looks. Can't wait to ride it. So we've just come off of the behind-the-scenes tour of Hyperia behind us. Wow, wow, wow! wow. What a, it looks incredible, especially from up there. As you just see from the footage. Still a little bit of work to do. They need to put a support in. They still need to put the catwalks in. And the stairs are going all the way up to the top. Yeah, and uh, yeah, Russ gave a few things away. It's going to be running. Uh, there's a, we're going to have two trains, two trains of ten, I believe. So yeah, twenty riders. It's going to just be incredible. It really is going to be incredible. It's going to be audio going up the lift hill. It's going to be audio on the trains. It's going to be audio sort of speakers going up, and then there'll also be a few speakers dotted around uh, the track, which will also be good. Uh, and. There's going to be a portal, it's not going to be heavily themed everywhere as you can see, but they're going to have like a portal, entrance portal. Uh, the Photoshop he also said it's going to be very futuristic, futuristic, uh, lots of screens, uh, heavily reliant on technology. Uh, and then the shop also, he said that it's going to be out of this world. It's going to be a lot different from any other the shop here at Thorpe Park. So yeah, there's something to look forward to. And the queue line, I can also confirm, is not going to be any virtual queuing. It's going to be, you're all going to be queued in the actual queue line so it's going to be quite big uh, and also there's obviously the lake is going to be a big part of the theming as well so yeah who knows what they're going to do but it looks amazing and looks incredible just get me on the bloody thing now hello 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 are you hyped for hyperia i'm hyped for hyperia i finally got the answers that i've been moaning about are you yeah you a little bit better feeling uh, about that uh, i mean it's still not going to be your still not going to be your best theming theming but in terms of it being stylized you can forgive it from the where it is in the park and it's how it's going to yeah everything that we've been told is more positive in terms of that direction and rides going forward they're going to oh, yes. be a lot more themed, themed. rides coming to thought mm. park in the future you let that one on so yeah we can see more investment here at Thorpe Park, hopefully. 
So Black Mirror Labyrinth is no more, is not operating this year in the 2024 season. And the Slammer, the old ride, flat ride, is also going at the end of the season. Yeah, who knows what we could see here? Could we see a ride? Could we see a front new flat ride? Let us know in the comments down below. This time last year, when we were walking around Ford Park and we were looking at all these hoardings, thinking there's a new coaster being opened, and there it is. Right on this footpath, we were looking at Old Town, and you had like the curly fries there, and you had all the kids' rides over there. Now look at it. You've now got this massive 236 foot coaster. Insane. Now look at it. The crane's still here, getting ready to just lift in the final uh, walkways. So you've still got the catwalk stairs there. It's a uh, still a support to go in on the top of the stairs. And we've got our first bit of theming. Some trees. There we go. Exciting stuff here at the Hyperion construction site. All the cranes are still on. I believe testing will be in the next, well, they're all going to say a month, next month. So when the park reopens, we may see our first train go around. Exciting times. There we go. Here's a new look at Samurai's paint job. Obviously, you can see they've just painted the flooring by the looks of it. The trains look like they're being ready to be painted up red and black. And yeah, then it's just obviously the main arm to go. It looks like they've primed it already to be repainted. It shouldn't take them long at all. Yeah, it's, it's very, it's very Look at that. Stunning. Uh, Any sign for courses? Uh, so Russ has just said that they're going to add some blue to that sign as well. So I'm, well, I can presume it'll be the chains that'll be a little bit of blue. Here we go. Here's our look at Colossus. This is our track repainted. Not all of it we may add. But that bit there from the from the uh, lift hill, the first drop, that hasn't been painted. Um, but I'm guessing that's the bits that they are still going to retract. They haven't done the loop. Um, it looks like they've done the supports or some of the supports. And obviously all up here as well. I believe the shop as well. But yeah, the pretzel loop I want to say over there they painted. Over. <laughs> you go the <laughs> See, they've done the four loops, they've painted them all up. No, no plans as yet. So, although the, Colossus is only back back half painted so far, there is more to come. Russ has just confirmed that, yes, they know more, that more they haven't done it. You know, it's not finished, it's not complete, so it should get done either the rest, rest this year or next year. Here's a look at the shop, all repainted. A little bit of an Easter egg of what the new Freestyle Cups will look like. We've actually uncovered the window so you can actually see yes. out now. Or I do that, I'll be very close to take pictures. New Freestyle machines, all been upgraded. Hope you'll have some nice. Oh, paint on Rush. No longer the turquoise, now in with the grey. So we were given some of the food to try out here at, uh, at Vibes and yeah, we are like a bap. <laughs> I've gone for chips, <laughs> chips and pork pork and some onion, very nice. So we can actually have a look in the uh, island shop at the new merch. So here's a quick look at some of the new pins. So yeah, there's not too much new merch in here by the looks of it. There's a new Nemesis Inferno hoodies. It's very smart. I like that one. I'm not gonna lie. That one is priced at £60 plus your Merlin discounts. So you got your old Thor Park Infinity logo. That's right. Drop me a well. I've got that. Oh, okay. Yeah. Did you buy it? Then? Yeah, I got it. There we go, there's a first look at behind the scenes tour at Thorpe Park. 
That is impressive. Let us know down below in the comments what you think. Project Sparkle, it's amazing. Hyperia, wow, just wow. We're here on the 23rd of March for the opening day. We can't wait. Who knows what will be open? I'm not expecting Big Easy Boulevard to be open. There's still a lot of work to be done with the Everything else should be open. Obviously, Hyperia may even be testing it. Come back for that. Oh, with that, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. And we'll see you on our next adventure. Bye.